James Harden has played 43 seconds yeah. in this series. And that's a bad sign because he came back from the hamstring and immediately got hurt again. Mm -hmm. If he is not able to give them anything, do the Nets still win the championship? I think they still win the East. Let me be very, very clear about that. I'm not going to sit up there and definitively say they beat the Utah Jazz. Let me be very clear. Where's your camera? Is that right there? Yes, sir. Donovan Mitchell is a superstar. Make no mistake about it. Averaging, four, I mean, what is it? Averaging like 41 in this series or 52% yes. shooting. Averaging over 32 a game for the postseason. Undefeated with him in the starting lineup because he missed game one against the Memphis Grizzlies. Dropped 50 plus last year a couple of times against the Denver Nuggets in the first round. Donovan Mitchell is D Way 2.0. Donovan Mitchell is a closer. Donovan Mitchell is a superstar. Donovan Mitchell is outplaying both Kawhi Leonard. And Paul George, not one or the other, both of them. And the brothers 24, got a J, got a handle, got an NBA body, is strong, can finish at the basket, can take it to the hole, can create his own shot, can hit free throws. There's nothing that this brother cannot do. In Utah, already, I want to hear about Carl Malone. I want to hear about John Stockton. That's the best player in the history of the Jazz organization right there. I just said it, and I ain't stuttering. Donovan Mitchell is a superstar. This brother is big time. And if he gets in the finals and the Brooklyn Nets are not fully loaded, and you don't give you a can't dismiss the Clippers, right. can't dismiss Kawhi and Paul George and what they have the potential to bring. We got to respect that, and Ty Lue knows what he's doing as a coach. Can't dismiss them. But I expect them to beat the Clippers. I expect them to beat Phoenix or Denver, and it's going to be Phoenix, in my opinion, in the conference finals. There's a game seven that would be a Utah. Mm -hmm. I think Utah goes to the finals. And if the Brooklyn Nets are not fully loaded, I can't summarily dismiss Utah. I think it would take James Harden, Kyrie, and KD to knock off the Utah Jazz. That's how formidable I think they are. I think that this is fascinating. Let me pick up on that thought for a minute there because I think a lot of NBA fans mm -hmm. don't see a ton of Utah for mm -hmm. any number of obvious mm -hmm. reasons. Yes. He's six foot one. Oh, uh, Donovan? Yeah. Four. Six, six foot three, six foot three and a half, six four. Yeah. He's not he's not six one. He's bigger than six one. Is he six that's foot a three? That's a that's a lie. He is not six he is not six one. Okay, fair enough. Right. I, he, 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 I think he's listed smaller, and he right. kind of looks a little smaller sometimes. Right. I had Mike Fratello on well, the I'm radio. Well, I'm 6'1". When I was standing next to him, he looked, he looked bigger than Okay, six fair one. enough. Okay, go Either ahead. way, the point of it is this. You think he's ready to be, right now, the best player on an NBA championship team? I think he's already the best player probably in the playoffs right now. Can somebody tell me differently? In the six games that Donovan Mitchell played, can we definitively say we've seen somebody better than him? I mean, you could throw KD in the equation because he's been lethal, even though he didn't shoot that well from the field last night. But when I look, at Donovan Mitchell, who's stopping him? Listen, he had he struggled a little bit in the first half of game one against Kawhi Leonard and Paul George with a team that has the Reggie Jacksons, the Patrick Beverleys of the world and others. This man came out and dropped 32 in the second half. Last night, 10 points in the first three minutes of the game. He finishes with 37. He's coming. Everyone knows he's coming. You know he's the number one option, and there's absolutely positively nothing you seem to be able to do about it other than twist his ankle. That's about it. There's nothing else that we have seen that has been able to stop Donovan Mitchell. Then when we take that into account, understand the guys around him. Jordan Clarkson comes off the bench, gives you buckets, 24 last night. What does he do? He enables you to spell for Donovan Mitchell so he can get his rest. Royce O'Neal, a big-time perimeter defender. Rudy Gobert, the reigning defensive player of the year right now on the interior. So he has help around him with shooters like Bogdanovich and Engel and other guys. But in the end, everybody knows when it's time, even though last night there were other people that, that stepped up and, 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 and did what they did because they can do that, when it's time, the Utah Jazz go like this. Here you go. Could you take us there? And that's what he does. And, that, and to me, that's what it's all about. When you separate the superstars from everybody else, it's when everyone knows who's going to do something, when they're going to do it, how they're going to do it, and you still can't stop them. That is Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell is a superstar. He is the real deal. And if and the only part about it, and I'm getting teary-eyed and emotional right now, because mm -hmm. that damn Phil Jackson <laughs> was running the New York Knicks. I was on New York radio 
Go look at the tapes. Mm -hmm. I, nobody was talking. I said Donovan Mitchell out of Louisville. And I didn't see this in Louisville. I said Donovan Mitchell, to hell with it. And somehow, Frank Nielakina is who that damn Phil Jackson <laughs> brought to the Knicks. No wonder we can't find Phil Jackson. No wonder we can't find him. <laughs> No, that, that, that's the problem. Donovan Mitchell could have been in New York. Could you imagine if he was in New York? I, they, I mean, he scored, you're correct. He has scored 82 points in the first two games of this series, and the Jazz are 6-0 and oh in the playoffs yes. when he has played. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.